Hey, down here on the river, I wanted to stop and make a gin and tonic. We was out in Silva last week, and we stopped by this place, Forage or something. And the waitress, she was as kind as could be, but bless her heart, could not make a gin and tonic. I got a gin and water. I did get to pick my gin, so I did get Hendrix gin and water. But today, it's a real simple little cocktail out on the river. I'm going to try to get out and do more and more cocktails in different places. This is just an experiment to see how it goes. So join me as I make a gin and tonic the right way. The reason it surprised me that she could mess up such a simple drink is it really is simple. It starts with a good tonic water. Of course, they do make some good tonic syrups that you mix with club soda, but Q is a very good tonic water. Good gin. I put this, it's Hendrix, but I put it in a little bottle for transportation. And a lime. And of course, a container to put it in. And that, my friends, is all it takes to make a gin and tonic. This is about two ounces of gin. I filled the bottle extra full, so whatever it is, plus some. Lime, gentle squeeze to get some of that goodness out. And fill with tonic water. I did forget one bit of goodness. Summer drinks are always better out of a straw. Double, yeah. And triple, yeah. Let's flow down there. It's coming a wicked storm out here. <laughs> well, there ain't much thunder and lightning, that's good. So. It's raining pretty dang hard here. I'll hold it up in a too. It's raining pretty hard, but I'm having a blast out here. I'm just getting real wet, but I ain't got much to get wet it'll matter, so I'll see y'all in a bit. Bye. <laughs> Still sprinkling a little bit. It's a pretty heavy downpour, but it didn't last too long. Maybe the sun will come back out here in a minute. It sure is beautiful now. I'll take a few pictures. Show you a few pictures.